Hello everybody, it's Niklas and welcome to this new video, new video on Wings 3D. And in this video, we are going to make an introduction to this software. Wing 3D, very uh, interesting software to work with 3D modeling. And it is a free software, it is an open source software. And it is very interesting if you want to create 3D models, you have different type of features. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you like the content. First thing on the description, the complete course Wing 3D is available. So if you want to learn this software, starting from scratch with the course structure, it will be on the first link on the description. You will see model session of the course, what you will be able to learn. Second link on the description, the website in link with this YouTube channel. You can discover software in this YouTube channels. And second link on the description, it is a website with a summary of all the graphic courses you can choose a course and learn any graphic software. So let's start to do this. The first thing that I'm going to do, it is to go on the dashboard. So in this area, we have the geometry panels and I put the geometry graph and the outliner panels uh, as well. So by default, you won't have these panels. So by default, when you start at the beginning, you will be exactly like this. You can go first on the edit options and you can have access to the preferences. If, for example, you want to change the language, you can go on the user interface and here you will be able to change the language. For the rest, you don't need to change all these parameters, but in the camera feature, something interesting can be the camera mode where I change. And here I define Blender, but you can choose what you want. By default, it is Wing 3D, so it is a navigation with this software. And because I use different 3D modeling software, I prefer to use Blender, but you can use any type of this uh, navigation. So this is the preferences. After about the panel, so by default, you have just a geometry panels here. You have the possibility to go on window. I added a geometry graph and you can place, for example, on the right, but you can also remove this one and you can activate the geometry graph. You can place on the left as well. You can put outside, you can put on the top as well. So you can dragging and moving these different panels just like this. So. What I do, I use a geometry graph. I put the geometry graph on the right. And with the window, I put also here, we have, for example, a view settings, just like that. So view setting can be pretty interesting because for a simple reason that you can work with the environment. You have also the outliners. It can be pretty interesting because the outliner, I will put this on the right, will allow you to work with the materials. And I can put this more on the back. This is how to work. I work with this interface, geometry graph outliner. After that, you have the possibility to navigate. So you have a 3D space, different axis, Y axis, X axis, Z axis. If I use the Blender navigation, I can click on the scroll wheel to turn around. I can go click on the scroll wheel to move like this. And if I press shift, I can move on this on a direction. If I want to zoom in, zoom out, you can just move the scroll wheel and you can zoom in and zoom out. Here you will have different parameters like the type of view that you can define. So what is the aim? The aim is to add different objects. When you go right click, you can have all these type of objects, cube, cylinder, sphere, and you have a lot of features like tetrahedrons, uh, oblong, spiral, spring, thread, sp and more. So what I will define, I will create, for example, a cube. So whether you can add a basic shapes, just like this, or you can go right click a sphere, whether you can have access to more advanced features. So you can go right click, you can go on the option of the cube. And here on the option of the cube, I can define the value for my cube. If I want, for example, 20 on the X axis, maybe 10 on the Y axis and 14 on this axis, I can enter this value. You can also put on groom if you want. And if you put on ground, you will be directly at the intersection of the plane of the ground like this. So I created this cube with these different parameters. If you want another type of element, like for example, a cylinder, I can click on the cylinder. Okay? I have access to the options and in the cylinder, I can define a number of sections. I can define, for example, the height. I can define a top X radius. A top Z radius and a bottom X radius and a bottom Z radius. And if I want, I can put on ground as well or not. And if I just validate, I created this cylinder. So after that, you will have a lot of options. So for example, I have this cylinder. 
What I can do with this cylinder, I can, for example, click create a selection. There are different types of selections that you can use. Body selection, face selection, edge selection, and vertex selection mode. So if, for example, I select the body selection, I can create a selection, right click, and you will have different options. I can, for example, use something like subdivide, and I can subdivide my element, or I can subdivide again. So I will have different type of options. I can also select a face. So here, you can deselect with a space bar, and I can select a face. If I press the space bar, I can deselect. You can select the edge, just like this, or multiple edge. If I press the space bar, I deselect, or I can select a vertex, and the vertex will appear, and you can create a selection just like this. If I just come back on this area, I will go back on this mode. You will have different type of options, like when you create a selection, for example, I can create a selection of this face, and when I go right click, I have different options. I can, for example, extrude. So if I click on extrude, I can put the normals and I can move on this direction. If I want to enter a value, I can press tabulation and I can enter a value. I just apply 40 on this area. Then if I want to scale, I can go right click, I use scale uniform and I will be able to drag in and move in just on this direction. And I can press tabulation if I want to enter a value. Let's put, for example, 30%. And I will go right click, I will have different options. I can extrude again, for example, um, extrude again, normals, and I can do something like this. And I can go right click, and I will use one more time scale uniform to increase a little bit here. I can also create some inset, so it means I can select the face, and I can go right click, I can use inset, and for example, I can move on this direction, as you can see. So you will have a lot of type of options. So if you want to, to change the mode of, of view, you go on the view options and here you can activate a wireframe view or you have the shade view. You can also deactivate show edges, show back face, and you will have a preview of your object without anything. You can also switch these different parameters. If I reuse this one, you can use the perspective view, just like this, perspective or orthographic view. So this one is a perspective and this one is orthographic view. If you want to select a specific axis, you can press X, Y, and Z axis. And if you are in the orthographic view, as you can see, you can perfectly be on one of these view, pressing the shortcut on the keyboard, just like this. You have also the possibility to use this preview. It is a shady preview. I don't like too much, but definitely you can use this one. And here you can have access one more time to the preferences using this mode. This is the type of things that you can do. Here, you have an outliner, so you will be able to add some materials if you need. And you have different features depending on what you choose. So for example, I can select this face, and I can go right-click. This is all the features that I can use. I can use something also as a bevel, for example. So I can click on bevels, and I will be able to create a bevel here. If I want to enter a value, I can press tabulation, and I enter a value for my bevel. I just place, for example, 4. I can also do more things. I can click here and I can go right click, extrude again. If I want to go on the normals, I can extrude here or I can also extrude inside. It depends about what I want to do, just like this. So this software is definitely pretty convenient. When you go on this area, you can add more window, but generally the geometry graph and the outliner is something important that we will use the most. Here you can undo the last actions or redo the last action. You have also the possibility to go and select and you have more advanced type of selection like the edge loop, adjacent, and for example, you can create a selection vertices, edges, faces, object, but you have also edge loop, edge ring that you can use for your selections. So this is how you can start with this software. We are going to stop here for this uh, video. If you like, subscribe to this uh, YouTube channels. First link on the description, the complete course. Wing 3D is available. So if you want to learn this software starting from scratch with a complete course to master the different features, it is on the first link on the description, different hours of training content, and also different training at the end of the course, like the creation of different parts and the creation of different objects as well. Second link on the uh, description, it is 
the website in, Lingu in Linguist's YouTube channel. You can discover software on these YouTube channels, a lot of graphic, uh, a lot of graphic software. Most of the time, these software are free or in a affordable price. And second link on the description, it is like a online school. So you have a lot of graphic courses and you can just click a course and learn any graphic software. For the next video, see you. Ciao, ciao.